Match Diabolos for Air Rifle and Air Pistol are mass products of high precision. Well selected create shot groups under 5.8 mm in diameter. Such qualities cannot be bought, they have to be detected during the test. Neither brand nor price play a role, only the practical experiment counts. But even with the best selection, there are individual lead cups that have a defect. This may have happened during production or during transport in the shaker box. Today we are going to try out how different deformations affect the shot picture. To do this we will first deform the open cups of some Diabolos to an increasing degree. Where do heavily bent projectiles fly to? How far do they miss the center? And how large will the shot image of five deformed pellets be? In the first test we shoot these five Diabolos whose rear cones have been symmetrically pinched together. The extent of the deformation increases from shot to shot. So the first projectile is only slightly deformed, the fifth is considerably. Here are the five tests in fast motion. Amazing! All five still land in the nine. We have an average of 9.9. .9. Obviously, the double cup made of lead is relatively resistant to symmetrical deformation, even with considerable dimensions. The third part of yeah. our deformation blues. This time I hurt the back part of the pellet to, the, to one side only and I will put it in that the deformation is pointing to the right side. Shot number one. Here we go. What do you expect? Okay, der dritte, der sitzt in a 9,7 hoch. We have deformed the pellets in three different ways. Um, in the front, in the back and to one side. And after all we see that it only goes a little bit out of the center. This means we should not be too much afraid if there is a little deformation on our last helmet. 9.7 up. Nevertheless, the test look, as Vladimir Maslenikov shows it here, is reasonable. Trust is good, control is better. Also, looking to the side relaxes the eyes and refreshes concentration. We undertake a final experiment in deformation. This time we are going to damage the bullet heads. It could be that the front part of the Diabolo is more sensitive to dents and bumps. The deformation of the head also causes only minor deviations. All three shots remain in the ten. Why is the Diabolo so resistant to deformation? We assume that the calibration during loading is the secret. When the double cup made of soft lead is pushed into the rifling of the barrel, any deformations are smoothed out and largely ironed out. Only when the loading lever is closed does the Diabolo take on its final shape. Minor irregularities straighten out the rifling of the barrel. And because the Diabolo, like a shuttlecock, is considerably heavier at the front, the top heaviness pulls all the spinning movements back into the axis. In fact, the billion product Diabolo is a ballistic work of art. There is no better solution for precise flight over 10 meters. 
the largest selection of match Diabolos of all brand, head sizes and each in several lots can be found at MEC in Dortmund. An optimal test facility is available here. Weapons are serviced, repaired and adjusted as required. We have been doing this with passion and at the highest level for decades. And we are delighted when our customers are satisfied. Yeah, we do. Are you satisfied with your ammunition? Yeah, that's better. You're satisfied with your rifle? Yes. You are satisfied with your result? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>